Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. I'm going to do a video that is most requested and it is this peppermint pillow here. We have this afghan already filmed back in 2014. So I'm going to update now in 2020 and do this pillow. If you've done this afghan, this pillow is pretty much reachable for you. As we go through the instructions, there is a lot of instruction but when you break it down step by step, you realize it's not as hard as you may imagine. So let's uh, take a look at these instructions carefully. So the pillow is going to have us do round one all the way to round eight. And what we need to do is that we need to get that done. So what you're going to notice here, round one here and round two is the same diameter. So this is like an interlock crochet project. So if you're ever thinking of interlock, this is exactly what it is. So round one and two are working together in order to create the spiral and to the separation of it. So one time you go around, so round one you're using the one color and then in round number two you're using the secondary color but doing the exact same round in there. It's just interlock reasons. So let's uh, begin to look at that further and let's just jump over to the pillow instructions. So yes, a lot of written instructions and on page number three this is where the pillowcase starts and it says rounds one and eight work the same as rounds one and eight of the large motif. Okay, so let's take a look closer at this because you realize that one whole section like this is actually technically one round but because we're doing it as interlock, it's been separated out. Let's show you. So as we work through this, I'm gonna be checking it off on my list and you're going to notice it gets pretty high in the amount of rounds. So there's round 45 there and then it keeps on Oh, round 45, round 47 is where it's gonna end. So what we're going to do is that this pillow when we look at it is actually a one piece unit. So it's not two pillow faces put together with a single crochet. The actual thing goes up and gets bigger and then it wraps around and then gets smaller. So it's a one piece unit. I do not have a pillow. I was over at the craft store just minutes ago. Um, I could not find a 16 inch pillow for him. So I'm going to be demonstrating this but not putting my pillow in. Just make sure that once you start getting smaller and smaller, if you cannot get that pillow in, you gotta jam that pillow in just before you're starting to realize that you can't put that pillow form in. Obviously you can squish it. So let's uh, begin. We're going to be using two colors today. I am using Red Heart with Love as a choice and uh, I'm just gonna be using Hot Pink and Leaf lettuce, uh, sorry lettuce green. Um, I can't use white because white background. So, so what I'm gonna do is start off and let's start off with doing our chain and let's begin. So color A and B you need to assign them. So if you're gonna use one color, no point doing this but you, if, if you're using two colors, just assign A as one color. So I'm gonna assign A as pink and B as green. With an eye, a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, you're going to be able to work. Use color A, whatever color you chose. I'm gonna choose pink for my color A and we are going to then use only the color A and chain a total of four. So one, two, three and four and then join with a slip stitch to the first one to form the ring and just let that straggler just fall around the outside of that ring so that it gets stuck underneath. We're gonna continue to use this color as we begin round number one. So when we begin, we're going to chain four. So one, two, three. That's a double crochet and the fourth one is a chain one space. Remember that. So this is one of eight uh, spokes that you will have. So double crocheting yourself into the ring itself. Go right up over top of that straggler so it gets stuck underneath and just double crochet and then chain one and then do it again. So you wanna keep going so that there's going to be a total of eight of those spokes. So there's one, two, three. I want you to, to get eight. I'll meet you back here in just a moment. Okay, I have a total of eight of those spokes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's a double crochet. Don't forget to chain one right after it and then join it to the third chain up and pull through and through. Pull a loop, set it down and get ready for your next color. When you, If you were going up over top of that straggler which I hope you were doing, just cut that out so it's not in your way so that you can continue then and lay this back out and get your color B ready for round number two. Okay, let's begin round number two. Don't create a slip knot before you do it. Just keep it as a loop so just nothing there. And I want you to insert the hook into the middle of the ring in between the first chain and the first double crochet. Go right in there and pop out in between. Make sure that these strands here don't get caught in anything and just pull that through. Okay, and we're gonna deal with the straggler in a bit. So then just join it nice and tight 
and then chain three. So one, two, three. That's your double crochet and the fourth one. So chaining four is your chain one space. Coming in between the next two posts in the center of the ring, I want you to double crochet. So I'm not concentrating on counting the number of times I'm going around because I already verified how many of these I had. So just chain up one and just concentrate on working through the spaces. There will be a total of eight if you are wanting to count. But you should be able to fill in the spaces and it should happen automatically. So double crochet, chain one in each. And when there's no spaces left to go into, you know that you've gone all the way around, of course. So I've just double crocheted. So I wanna count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So chain one, but before I join it, I want my straggler. Okay, I want the straggler here, the loop and the straggler to be together. So right in front, and I want to join it to the third chain up. If you don't move that, yarn in front now, you'll have to undo what I just did of joining and redo that. So just turn it over and let's deal with that straggler here. So let's get that straggler back on the inside of the work. And I would visually look at it to make sure that it's going to work. So just kind of pulling things nice and tight. Um, this is actually my fourth take. <laughs> um, it's, it, pays it helps if you pay attention to the front side at the same time when you're doing this and just kind of weave it in and out. So as I pull the first time, I wanna take a peek, make sure it looks pretty good, and it does, and then I can secure it the other two more times. And then you can safely cut that out. And let's move on. As we begin row number three, I've just kind of pulled it so that this post is popping out in between the green. So we have to slip stitch into this chain one space that is existing between the, the pink post only. So ignore the green. So you're just gonna slip stitch in between that space and then begin. So we have to do something as well. So just chain three, one, two, three, and in the same space I want you to put another double crochet. Before you can continue, and if you don't do this, you're gonna have to pull it apart. Do you see that the green is attached to this post? That means that that post is the beginning of the green. So you're gonna have to move this straggler in front and go right up over top of it so that that stays in front for the next time that when you're ready. You're now going to chain two and coming into the space after this pink and just pull it from the background and you're gonna put two double crochet in. So one and two. So if you leave that green in behind, you won't be able to access it. So one, two, so chain two, and then go into each one of the chain one spaces in between the pink posts from behind. And I want you to do this all the way around. This is round number three, and then I'll see you at the end of this round. So I'm coming up to the end of row number three, so I'm just gonna chain two, and then just join it to the top of the first chain three. And pull a straggler, and let that hold. We're then going to move to row number, round number four, and we're gonna put the green back onto the hook, and pull up. So you can see you're sitting right in that first post. See if you would've left that behind, this green would not be in front. So you're going to slip stitch to the first space. So we're doing exactly what we just did with the pink. So then chain three, and then double crochet into that same space. And then chain two, and then go into the space after the green. So you can see they're not being crocheted together around each other. That's what makes it uh, an interlocking concept. So do that all the way around. Just uh, two double crochet in each one of the chain one spaces of the green, pulling it through, and then chain two in between those to help separate those out. This is round number four. As you're coming up around round number four, you're gonna chain two, 
and make sure that you bring the pink forward and then attach it to the top of the first chain three and then pull up a loop. And so now the pink is going to be ready to go and like I showed you before we wanna make sure that we're dealing with that green in the next round. So let's uh, put the pink back on and let's move on to round number five. Let's pull everything nice and tight. Let's begin round number five. So you're going to slip stitch to the next double crochet. So you're in the first one so you're gonna go to slip to the next one and this is where you're going to just slip and then you want to do a total of chain three. So one, two, three. And in the next space that's in the pink you're going to apply two double crochet into that space. But before you continue I need you to get this green and I need you to put it in between so it's gonna be in front for the next time that you're coming through. After you get this section done you are then going to chain three. So one, two, three and then look at the next pink. Skip the first one and go to the second and work in front of the green. So let that green just stay in behind. So just double crochet in the front one or sorry the second one over and then in the space you're going to put in two double crochet. So one more time. So the trick is is, is that is that yarn manipulation to do this. So one, two, three. So skipping the first pink go to the second and double crochet in that one and then go into the space right after it and put two double crochet in and then chain three and then keep jumping around. This is round number five. I'm coming up to the end of number five. I'm just chaining three and then just joining it to the top of the first chain three. Pull up a loop, let it hold and now let's move on and grab the green. It's already sitting in front here and pull it tight and let's start round number six. Round number six is identical so just slip stitch to the next double crochet and you'll chain three from there. One, two, three and then come to the next space right after it just in the green only peeling back that pink to get it out of your way and you're going to apply two double crochet there. And like before you're going to chain three and then just jumping over to the second green one. So don't go in the first one. So you're gonna double crochet that one and then put two into the space right after it. And then chain three and do this all the way around. I'll see you at the end of round number six. At the end of round number six you're gonna chain three. Make sure that you pull that pink in front first and then just join it to the beginning. Chain three. And pull up a loop and then grab this other one here and we're gonna get ready for round number seven next. Okay let's begin. We're going to slip stitch to the next one. So this is a very simple pattern once you get it going. So you'll notice that there was three here. So we always are going to slip stitch to the second one over when we're growing out making it bigger. So you're gonna chain three and then in the next one is going to be a double crochet. So that's counted as two double crochet in a row and then in the space yes you're putting in two double crochet in there. So one in two but before you go any further get that green and pick it up and make sure it stays in the front side. So it's ready and then chain four. So one, two, three, four and then just jumping over. So go to the second one that's in from the edge from here and you're going to double crochet that one and it's friend next door and then in the space you're going to apply two double crochet. If you haven't figured it out that two double crochet in the space is a growth. So then I want you to chain four. So if it's getting twisted at all just untwist it. Nice and simple out of your way. So then chain four. So one, two, three, four and then just jump to the second one over. Double crochet that one plus the one next door and then into the space for two. and then chain four and then keep on going around just like this. This is round number seven. So the end of number seven just chain three, slip stitch to the beginning and then pull up a loop and let hold and then grab the green up and then we'll begin number eight in just a moment. 
So round number eight is just the same as what we just did. So just slip stitch over to the second one over and then chain three and then double crochet in the next and then double crochet two times in the space. Then chain four, one, two, three, four and then coming in. So come to the second one over. So skip the first one, go to the second, double crochet that one plus its friend next door and then two into the space. Okay and then chain four and then continue to do that all the way around and I'll see you at the end of round number eight. So I'm coming around at number eight I'm just chaining my four and moving the pink in front and then just joining it to the top of the chain three. Okay so let's move along in the pattern and let's get ready pull up a loop put this one on and let's get ready for round number nine. Let's begin round number nine. If you haven't figured out yet uh, we are now on page number three of five. So we've done one through eight as it states and now we're gonna pick up from the pillowcase section of the pattern. So you're going to slip stitch over one to where you are. Okay so the second one over chain three and we are going to double crochet in the next two and then in the space is going to be two double crochet Okay and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five and then just jumping on over but before you do put the green in front so you can have that for next time and go to the second one over. Okay so skip the first one go to the second. There's going to be three double crochet in a row this time. So one, two and three and then do the space. There's gonna be two in the space and then chain five and then continue to do that same idea going all the way around. This is round number nine. Okay coming up to the end of number nine and I just chain my five slip stitch to the first chain three and then we're gonna pull up a loop on that thing as well. So let's move on and let's pick up the green and let's begin round number ten. So round number ten we're going to slip over to the next one chain three, one, two, three. It's the same as number nine. So then it's just two more double crochets left. So there's three in a row and then the next chain space is gonna have two and then chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Go to the second one over and double crochet the three in a row. One, two, three, go into the space for two and then chain five and do that all the way around. This is round number ten. Coming up into the end of round number ten move these in front. I've already chained my five and just slip stitch to the top of the first chain three. Pull up a loop and pull this back into place and let's do round number eleven. Round number eleven slip stitch over and then chain three fill in the double crochets that you have. So there's gonna be a total of three left after you've done that chain three. So there's a total of four per section if you can recall that. The chain three is one, uh, is considered one. Then two into the space and this is going to require you to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. But before you go any further grab that green pull it forward before going over it and then go to the second one over and begin again. So double crochet all the double crochets that are left over after you've skipped over the first one. So there's four of those and then into the chain two space and then chain six and then begin to do that all over again. This is round number eleven. So I've just chained my six and I'm just going to join it. This is the end of round number eleven pull up a loop. Let's go over to the green and then pick that up and let's do round number twelve. Twelve is the same as eleven so just move on over and then just chain up three and then just double crochet the remaining that are left. So there's a total of four in a row 
that includes that chain three space or chain three and then go into the space for two and then chain six to jump. One, two, three, four, five, six and then go to the second one over and start and it's four in a row and then you'll have the chain two space so fill that in with two double crochet and then chain six to jump. I want you to do that all the way around. This is round number 12. Coming around to number 12 making sure my pink is in front before I go over to, uh, over it and just slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Okay pull up a loop. Let's pull this pink back in and let's move on to round number 13 next. Let's begin round number 13. So slip stitch over chain three. It's your first double and then just keep filling in those double crochets with more double crochets. So you don't really hear me counting because you just gotta fill those spaces in or those, those stitches in. Once you get to the chain space just fill it in with two. That's your growth and this time it is round number 13 so chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Before you go any further though make sure that green's in front or you'll be frogging and then go to the second one over in this new section over here and begin double crocheting all those and then add two to the chain space and then put in uh, an extra uh, chain seven to jump. Please do this all the way around, round number 13. So coming around number 13 just join it to the top of the first chain. So you're gonna notice at this point where these you can really feel that they're actually separate entities at this moment. So if you kinda pull it around you can kinda see it. Don't worry about it because when it stretches onto a pillow it'll all keep its own balance. Pull up a large loop. Let's go back to the green and let's proceed on to round number 14 next. 14 is just like 13 so shift on over. Chain three so one, two, three and then just fill in the remaining with double crochet. There's a total of five just so you know but I'm not counting I'm just filling it in. In the chain space just put in your two extra and then chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and jump to the second one and go on over and do that all the way around. This is round number 14. Coming up to the end of round number 14 putting that red in front. I've already chained my seven. Slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Pull up a loop. Get this other color ready and let's begin round number 15. Okay round number 15. Just slip stitch over one. Chain up three. One, two, three. Double crochet in the remaining. I'm just gonna get faster and faster with this video recording because I think it's pretty obvious what we need to do at this moment. We don't actually start doing the decreasing until round 25. So once you have that done just slam in two into the chain space and this time round number 15 is a chain of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then jump on over. Make sure you move that green in front first and then go to the second one over and fill those in and put two into the chain space and then chaining eight to jump. Please do this. This is round number 15. So now I've just chained my eight. Just going to slip stitch to the top of the first chain three. This will conclude off round number 15. Let's uh, get our green up. Let's do number 16 next. 16 is the same as 15. Going over, slip stitch, chain three and then just fill in the rest of the stitches with double crochets. There's a total of six in a row. That includes that chain three if you're counting if that matters to you. And then after you have that done in the space just put in your two double crochet. Then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and then just continue to go over. Second one over and etc. Fill it in and then make sure you're starting at the second one. Put in two into the space and then chain eight to jump. That's round number 16. As you come around number 16 make sure that pink is in front first or whatever color you're using and then just slip stitch next there. So then get ready and we're going to move on to round number 17. Let's move on to round number 17. Let's shift on over 
and then chain one or sorry chain three. So one, two, three and then just double crochet the remaining. I'm all excited about the decreasing what's gonna be happening in the future because I have some really good tips. So I can't wait to get to that moment there just to share that with you. So we're carrying on and so you're just filling it in and then in the space of course you're gonna put two in there because we're still increasing the space. So this time we are chaining nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and then make sure you do move that green forward before you jumping over to the second one over and start all over again. So fill them in and then add two into the space and then I'll see you here at the end of round number 17. So at the end of round number 17 you're just going to attach. So I've already chained my nine and then pull up a loop and let's get ready for round number 18 which is in the green. Let's do that in just a moment. So 18 is the same as 17 so just shift on over one and then chain three. Okay, fill in all the spots, all the double crochets in. In the space put two in there and then chain nine to jump on over. I think that you can get that by this point in the tutorial. So please do this all the way around for round number 18. So chaining nine is what is going to be the spacer. I'll see you back here in just a moment at the end of 18. So I'm just coming all the way around, around number 18, moving the pink forward and just slip stitching to the top of the first chain three. So pull that loop up and let's put the pink back on and let's move on to round number 19. Round number 19, shift on over one slip stitch and then chain three and then fill the rest in with double crochet including that chain space. We're still growing out to be bigger. Noticing that I'm not counting because I'm not I'm just filling in what I can see and then in the chain space just put in two more. Okay, so as we pass over the green, make sure the green goes in front and then you can chain 10 this time. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then jump on over. So make sure that green is in front and jump on over to the second one over. Fill that in and then add two to the space and uh, chain 10 to jump. Please do this. This is round number 19. I'm currently on round number 19. This is what the back looks like if you haven't noticed already. If you've probably been turning it over. So I haven't really shown that. So this is what it looks like. You can see the jumping chains just like so but you see how they all work together. So as soon as they stretch out they all just kind of work out on the front. So continue along. This is round number 19. Coming up to the end of number 19 just slip stitch to the top of the first chain three through and through. Pull up a loop. Let's go over to the green. Put that on and let's get ready for round number 20. So round number 20 is exactly the same. Okay, so chain three. So I slipped on over chain three. Then you're just gonna fill it in and you're still growing out so you're still adding two to the space. So there's the space. So put in two there and then you're going to chain ten and then jump on over and make sure you go to the second one and then fill those in. Put two in the space and ten to jump. Let me uh, get to the end of this. This is row number or round number twenty. Round number twenty. Okay I'm finishing up round number twenty. I've chained my ten. Just slip stitch the pink is in front. Make sure it stays in front. Slip stitch only to the green. And then we'll be right back in just a moment. I have a plan. I just gotta think about it a little bit more. But for my plan I just gotta think a little bit for you. It'll just be a few seconds from now. So this is the end of row number or round number 20. So right here in the tutorial we've just finished off round number 20. Now originally when I was planning on doing this I don't have a, a 16 inch pillow that you have that you can see here. So mine is actually 14 inches. I went to the craft store. They just don't have any available at this moment. So I thought to myself how can I adjust this pattern to match so that I'm just not doing a pillowcase without a pillow in it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to officially stop this sample here in round number 20. So there's technically four more rounds to go. So there's two uh, two of the pink and two of the green 
and then in round number 25 we're gonna start uh, decreasing again. But here on round number 20 this is where I'm gonna stop for this particular sample. So let me take you to the written instruction and this is my advice to you. So that's what I will talk to you next about. So as we have number, round number 20, that's where I'm going to stop. So I've been checking it off behind the scenes that you have been noticing. So number 21 and 22 are together. They're working in the same section. So you're just continuing to grow it, but you will have chain 11. So chain 11 is the jump for those two rounds. Then in round number 23 and 24, you're still growing out. So you're still putting your two double crochets in the space and you will then chain 12. It's right here on round number 25 that you start getting smaller again. So, so then it can wrap around a 16 inch pillow. My case here, I'm starting, I'm stopping at round number 20 here so that I can do a 14 inch pillow. So this is just a rough guess but I kind of, I think it's pretty accurate. So what I wanna do is that the way that we're gonna decrease this thing is exactly identical in each one of the rounds. So what I want you to do, if you're going for the 16 inch, please do the rest of these four rounds. Okay, and get yourself into round number 25. When I pick up, I'll be on a different round, but the way that I'm decreasing is going to be the same. So it's just a matter of picking it up. So if you're gonna follow it, you'll see that once you get to chain 12 here, you're gonna notice that you're gonna chain 11. So each one of those chains will get smaller and smaller and you're also applying a decrease, which I will show you as well. So we're gonna go forward in the pattern at this moment to match the size. So no matter what size that you finished on, so for example, I have chain 10 here. This is what I had in the end of row number uh, 20. So I want to look for the next pattern instruction that states chain nine. So chain nine would indicate that there is a decrease. So we're gonna go forward in the pattern and I've already marked it here behind the scenes and what I want to do is that I wanna pick up my pillow here on round number 29 and 30. So I'm skipping all of this. So if you're doing the 16 inch, you're growing out for four rounds and then you have to decrease for the four rounds before you're gonna get to this exact moment in my tutorial. But how I'm gonna decrease again is gonna be the same for all of them and then we're gonna work our way to the end. So as we begin the decrease, what we're going to do is that I'm gonna pick up on number 29. So if this is the decrease and it's number 25 for you, it's exactly the same. So we wanna do a beginning um, double crochet together, two together, just like you see. So that's a chain two and a double crochet um, using two stitches. So I'll show you how to do that. You're then going to work across and you are just going to bring uh, the double crochets forward. So it's double crochet in the next seven and then it's only one double crochet in the chain space. So you still have to use that chain one space but you're only applying one double crochet not two. So you're actually decreasing in the very beginning of a section and then just applying one into the space and that's how we're gonna uh, attack this thing. So let's move on now to round number 29 as we begin the decrease. One other thing I wanna leave with you as well. When we go to insert the pillow, it gives us instructions after round number 40. This is where we're gonna insert the pillow form and then continue then to finish off the remaining. If you don't think the pillow form can fit in and you're up over here somewhere, just insert it in and just work around it. So this is where it tells you to do. Chances are the designer's right. Let's begin round number 29. Let's begin round number 29. We're gonna start with the decrease. So you're still gonna slip over one and this time you're only chaining two. One and two and you're going to double crochet in the next one. This is considered a beginning double crochet two together. See how this is not tall enough? So the actual stitch is just gonna be one right there. So you're gonna fill in the rest of these with double crochet as well. And if this is the first time you're decreasing and you're decreasing on round number 25, you're just gonna work your way all the way across and it's the same for each one of the decreases as well. So you're just gonna work your way across. Instead of putting two into the space, only put one and the chain has to be one less than what you had done before. So in this case, it'll be chaining of nine uh, that we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if you were on round number 25, it would have been chaining of 11. Make sure you do move that green in front as always and then just jump on over. So when you jump on over, you have to put the, you still have to skip the first one but you have to put the next two together. So just wrap the hook and going into the second one over, pull through, pull through two and then don't finish it. Go to the next one, pull through, 
pull through two. Then pull through all three loops. That's a two together stitch and then you're just going to maintain what you already know with just filling in the double crochets and just one into the spot and because this is row number 29 we are going to just chain nine to jump to the next one. So make sure you're decreasing on the first stitch in each section and only putting one, uh, one stitch into the chain space at the end of a section and then jump. Okay so let's uh, just see you at the end of this. This is round number 29. So I'm coming up to the end of number 29. I'm just gonna slip stitch. When I slip stitch I wanna slip stitch to the top of the double crochet here. So just ignore this. This is not a stitch. It's a two together. So just go in the top of that one so you don't get lost in where you are. So it's the top of this. It appears to be the second one. Okay so just make sure that you know that those are together. Pull up a loop. Let's move over to the green and let's begin round number 30. So let's begin again. So we're going to just shift over one and we're now picking up on round number 30. So again the decreasing is always the same. So one, two. So chain two and then go to the next one and double crochet and that is considered a beginning double crochet two together. So when you come back around you wanna be on the top of this one right here. Fill the remaining in. The chain one space will only have one double crochet in it and just like before you're gonna chain nine and jump. So I assume that you know what you're doing at this moment. So that's what you're gonna do and I'll see you at the end of round number 30. And just one last thing, when you jump over make sure that you just put in the, the first two as two together. So you are going to the second one but put the first two together after that and continue along. So make sure you are decreasing at least on the front uh, on the first stitch, uh, two stitches that you're using. Okay I'll see you officially now on the end of row number 30. So I'm coming up to the end of number 30 just making sure that pink goes in front and I've already chained my nine and when I slip stitch like before I wanna slip See how the two together just slip in the top of that so that you don't get confused on where you are. So pull that through and through. Okay let's go back to the pink and let's move on to round number 31. So carrying on and I want to move on to number 31. I'm gonna shift on over one and a beginning decrease. So chain two and then grab the next one and double crochet. So those two just became one and then you're just gonna fill it in now for the remaining. The chain one space, sorry the chain space is only have, having one stitch in there instead of two like we had because we are decreasing. And then this time we are only going to chain eight. So fill in that space with just one then chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, seven and eight. Move that green in front before jumping on over. So when you jump on over see how they're together as one. So those two here you gotta make sure you skip it because it's considered the first one and then go to the second one over. Okay so just right there. See it? So you're gonna put that one and its next door neighbor together as one. So just fill in the remaining and then put one into the space and then chain eight to jump. Please do this. This is round number 31. I've just come to the end of number 31 and I wanna slip stitch it to this one right here. So these two are together and then pull up a loop and then move over to the green and let's start round number 32. Round number 32 is the same as 31. So just uh, shift on over one, just chain two and then double crochet into the next one. That's a beginning double crochet two together and that's what we have going on. So just making sure that's working and then I'm just double crocheting over and in the chain one space, sorry in the chains, I keep saying chain one because we have to put one double crochet in that chain space. So just put one double crochet in that chain space and then jump. So it's chaining of eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and then jump, jump on over. So when you jump on over here Okay you see that the two are together there. So that's considered the first stitch. So you're gonna go over to the next. So you're gonna put the first two together. Okay and then continue along. So continue to do this. This is round number 32. So the end of number 32 make sure the pink is in front and just slip stitch to the beginning one. Okay and pull up a loop. Let's bring up the pink and let's begin round number 33. So now that we understand the decrease it can get a little bit quicker here. So we're just gonna shift on over one, chain two 
and double crochet in the next. So there's your beginning double crochet two together and then you're just gonna fill in the remaining. You're just still going to do one into the space and then once you get that one in the space you're just going to chain a total of seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure the green comes in front and jump on over. So when you go to jump make sure that you're jumping into the second one. So remember these are together. So that's the first one. So you're jumping into the second and you're putting that one plus its neighbor next door together as one. So please do this all the way around. So chain seven is the jump and I will see you at the end of round number 33. Coming to the end number 33 I've already chained my seven. Just so you know it's starting to bowl in which is what I'm wanting. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the first beginning together double crochet, pull up a loop. Let's go to the green and let's begin round number 34. Round 34 is the same as 33 so just shift on over one, chain two and double crochet in the next. So there's your beginning together double crochet. Fill in the remaining and only put one in the space. Once you have that done, chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Jump on over to the next part of the green. So you can see that this is the first stitch. It's a two together. So you're gonna skip that one, go to the second over and put that one and its friend next door together and then fill in the remaining. Put one into the space and then chain seven to jump. This is round number 34. So I'm just backing you out a little bit further. So we're going to chain a total of seven at the end of round number 34 and then just join it to the top of the first one. Make sure that pink one was pulled forward whatever color you're using. So let's uh, grab onto that one and let's go on to number 35 next. So if you're noticing it's getting faster and faster as we're going each round. Round number 35, shift on over one, chain two and then grab its neighbor for a double crochet and that's two together considered that. So fill in the remaining plus the chain one spa or chain space gets one. I, d <laughs> I don't think I'll get over that in this tutorial today but that's okay. If that's the least of my worries I'm still having a good day. So just uh, double crochet into the chain space and this time you're chaining only six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure that green comes in front and then jump on over. So when you jump you're skipping over this first one which is a two together and then going into the next one plus the friend next door to put those two together and then fill that remaining in. Put one into the space and then chain six to jump. Please do this. This is round number uh, 35. So I'm coming to the end of number 35. Just join it to the top of the chain three. So how are you doing now? <laughs> so let's pull that up. So let's move on to green. So everything's pretty much routine and but I don't want to leave anybody behind by quitting early because I want to finish this for myself. So okay so let's begin round number 36 next. So number 36 jump on over. So slip stitch chain two go to the next. That's considered two together and then fill in the remaining. It's only one into the space. Look at that. I said it right for the first time. <laughs> I might have said it right before but I don't know. Okay so let's continue along. Go right into the space and we are only uh, jumping over by chaining six. So one, two, three, four, five, six and then come on on over and then just skipping the first one. It's a two together. Go on over to the next and put that with its friend next door together and continue along. So one into the space and then chain six to jump. This is going to be 36. I'll meet you at the end of this round. Okay just chain my six. Make sure my pink is in front. And then I'm just going to join it to the beginning. Pull up that loop and let's go back to the pink and let's begin to do round number 37. Number 37 you are just going to shift on over one and then chain two and double crochet in the next. That's a two together and then you are going to do the rest. Put one into the space There we go and then make sure that green is in front before you jump. And this time it is round number 37 so we are going to chain only five. So one, two, three, four, five and jump on over. 
and when we jump remember the first one is two together so that's the first stitch you go into the next one and put that one with its friend next door it's two together and then fill in the rest and then one into the space and then chain five to jump. Please do this all the way around. This is round number 37. So coming back around just joining it to the top of the chain three. This completes off round number 37. Pull up the loop and let's head on over to the green. Let's begin number 38. Number 38 shift on over one. Chain two. Double crochet in the next. So that's the two together right there. Just fill in the remaining one into the space okay and then chain five to jump so one two three four five and jump on over make sure you're skipping the first one go into the second putting that one and its friend next door together and then fill in the remaining one into the space and chain five to jump and complete that all the way around this is round number 38. At the end of number 38 just chain 5 make sure the pink is in front and then just join to the beginning just like that. Pull up. Okay let's go back to the pink. Start round number 39. At any point you can put in your pillow but we're officially going to do it. If you don't think the pillow can get into the space now's the time to kind of try to put it in um, and if you wanna wait a little bit you can but we are officially going to do it after we do the next two rounds as per the pattern. So let's start round number 40 or sorry round number 39 next. Round number 39 so let's shift on over and just making sure we're catching it just perfectly and then just chain two and double crochet into the next one and then fill the remaining in so one okay and then you're going to chain a total of five Sorry, I apologize, a chain a total of four. So one, two, three, four. Make sure the green is in front. And then jumping over to the second one over. Don't forget that first double crochet two together is considered the first one. So jumping over, put the next two together, fill in the remaining. One into the space. And then chain four. So one, two, three, four and then jump. Please do this all the way around. This is round number 39. I'm at the end of number 39. I'm going to join it to the top and then pull up a loop. Let's go for the green and let's move on to round number 40 and then we will insert the pillow form after this round. 40 is the same as number 39 so just shift on over one, chain two, put the double crochet in the next. So there's your first two together. Fill in the remaining of the spots and what we want to do then is just one into the space and then chain four to jump. So I'm gonna leave this section in the tutorial. So I, in this particular round here or this section right here, I'm off by one. I have an extra stitch. I should technically only have four stitches but I have one and then the space left. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fake it and I'm going to put two together right at the very end that includes that space so that I can get back my, my four. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm gonna chain five, so sorry, chain four to jump. So one, two, three, four. And, and if you have a section like that, that's how you can fix it. It's not gonna be perfect but who cares, right? Just get it done. So you got the first one and then etc. And then into the space and then chain four to jump. So it's just a way of being able to fix it without having to frog and figure out where it went wrong later on because do you wanna frog all that? Nope. Okay, so let's uh, just continue along. Just chain four to jump and this will be round number 40. So I'm at the end of number 40 and I'm just going to slip stitch to the top. You know people say you shouldn't ever do tutorials with mistakes in them but I think it's important to realize when you make a mistake there's are ways to fix things for most of the time other than just ripping it all out. Pull up a loop and let's uh, put that pillow form in so we got a bit of um, flexibility here and let's see how it's gonna work. I'm gonna do it live on camera so that I can actually get my true reaction and hopefully it works out. Okay so here's what it looks like before the stuffing is applied. So it's a bowl shape and it's got a bit of flexibility to it. My pillow is actually pretty firm so I'm just going to slide it in and then I'll adjust it once it's in. 
The one thing about this particular pillow form it has actually, let me just do that. It actually has a zipper in it so that you can actually add or remove stuffing out. So if it's way too inflated then you can actually remove some stuffing out. Oh wow. Okay, so I just gotta center that in. Now with the studio lighting being as bright as it is it always shows imperfections if there is any. Okay, let's turn it over. Okay, so I can tell it's not in the center. So I'm just going to adjust. Huh, look at that eh? Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna carry on and let's move on now to row number, uh, round number 41. Let's begin round number 41. You're gonna chain up three, or sorry, chain up only two and then you're gonna put the next one together. You're gonna fill in the remaining, okay, and make sure the green does stay in front. You are doing one into the space and then you're chaining only three and then putting the first two together again. So you're skipping over the very first one. So next two together and then you're double crocheting in the next one and then the space and then chaining three to jump. Please do round number 41. Coming up all the way around on number 41 I'm just going to join it to the top of the first stitch. So things are much tighter than they were. So it's good just uh, keep everything moving. In time things in crochet actually do stretch out. I, make, I made these beautiful crochet nutcrackers one year and I just got them back after a few years and the outfits are completely drooped on the on, on it. So things do stretch over time so just don't be too worried if it's overstretched at this moment it will relax. So let's move on to round number 42. Okay 42 is the same as 41 so shift on over and chain two, one, two, double crochet in the next and keep collecting. Go to the chain one space and then chain three to jump. So one, two, three and then jump on over put the first two together. Fill this from next one in and into the space and then chain three to jump. This is round number 42. Ending 42 just chain up three and just slip stitch to the green on over. Make sure that pink is in front. I think I'll be glad to <laughs> when I stop saying that. Let's uh, get ready for round number 43. 43 is next. So let's move on to 43. We're just going to shift over. Remember the, these two are together so don't mistake that I just did that. This is actually take number two and just chain two and then go into the next one. So those just became two together and then go into the space and only chain two to jump. So one, two, leaving the green in front. Okay and then go on over. Go into the second one, collect that one and its friend next door and then go into the space and then chain two to jump. Please do this. This is round number 43. Ending 43 just chain two and just attach to the beginning. We're almost done my friends. And what we're going to do then is move on to row number 44. Let's grab the green and let's play. Okay number 44 we're going to just shift on over one. Chain two. And double crochet in the next so those are considered together. Go into the space chain two to jump, one, two, go to the second one over, join it with its friend, the two together and then go into the space and then chain two to jump. Okay, this is row number 44. So ending number 44 just chain two and just jump. Make sure the pink is in front and go to the beginning slip stitch. Let's go back to the pink and start round number 45. Let's begin round number 45. Just shift on over one and then chain two and then go into the space and you're gonna double crochet so that's gonna be considered two together. Chain one, make sure you're relatively tight at this moment. Move your green in front. This is actually take number two because I forgot to do that and going into the next one. So keeping it nice and tight. So just two together. So you're going the second one plus the gap space and then chain one to jump. Please do this all the way around. 
once you're all the way around in 45 just make sure that you chain one and just attach it to the very beginning. Like that. Pull up a loop. Let's bring up number of the green here and let's move on to 46. 46 shift on over one and chain two and then grabbing the space and, and like before just chain one and jump on over grabbing the last one there and the space and put two together. This is round number 46. So coming all the way around on number 46 and we're just going to join. We have only one more round to go my friends and that's it. So what I want you to do is pull that together and pull up a large loop and let's begin and making sure that the pink was on the outside and let's begin our journey of round number 47 which is the final. So let's begin. We're gonna chain three which is your first double crochet and then you're immediately gonna come into the next one here and that's just a double crochet so there's no chaining spaces anymore and I'm gonna put that green in front. So we're no longer working with the green at all anymore. We're done but I wanna to deal with that at the end. So we're just gonna continue to double crochet ourselves around just only picking up the one color. Okay, so there's gonna be a total of eight of those and you wanna take your time in doing it as well. So I'm kinda glad it did work out for my pillow form too. So once you get all the way around you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the beginning chain three. Just keep everything nice and tight. There's a lot of strands going on at one time here. and then slip stitch and that's it. So I wanna leave an extra long tail. We're gonna snip both of them at this moment and I'm gonna pull the pink through. Just through like this and I'm gonna use this pink to fill in this to bring this hole together and then I'm also gonna weave in this as well. So what I'm going to do with this one is just pull the yarn through it and then it will lock and we'll do so what I think we should do with deal with is this green one first. So let's uh, talk about that quickly. So I'm gonna deal with the green first for getting rid of the color. So throw it onto a tapestry needle. We've already locked it but stay within the green itself and just going across. So don't go across that pink at all or you're gonna kick yourself later. So back and forth the total of three times and that should be it for that. Okay, so green is officially done. So then we're going to grab onto this pink and the pink I wanna go into the remaining of that circle and I wanna collect the stitches and pull them together. Okay, so just capturing. So I like to pull it tight at the end once I get all the way around. Okay, so I'm gonna pull it tight and it should pull in which it does. So now I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna cause it to lock onto itself. So I'm gonna go through the loop. Sorry my hands are in the way. Somebody's gonna comment, get your hands out of the way I can't see. <laughs> which is not inaccurate. Okay so I'm going back. So I locked it and then I'm just gonna go back and forth just a few times if you're gonna be throwing this around. You're gonna want those tail ends to be in nice and tight and uh, if it's going in and out it'd be awesome. So once you're satisfied which I am right now that's it. This is the end of the story my friends. So we're good to go and you got a new pillow to enjoy. So here's what we have today and it's actually fun. It's only 14 inches not 16 and I improvised. I think you could do a 12 inch too and I'm gonna figure that out too. I'm gonna write that in the article and I think it's pretty awesome. So this is a neat, neat idea. It is pretty firm and it's based on the pillow forms. You'll notice that certain stores have better pillow forms than others. So um, some pillow forms are really like you push on it and there's nothing there. It's like air and this one has a bit of has bounce back for sure. So it's nice and fabulous. So I'm getting ready for ho ho time. I mean Christmas and that's pretty awesome and we're gonna see you again next time. So this is the Peppermint Pillow by Yarnspirations.com. Have a good one. Bye-bye.